I have lost everything woman sobs amongst the remains of her homo 103 Barbara Falcon, a state worker at Varadero Airport, sits on the wreckage of her home and cries. I have lost everything, she weeps, all my appliances, the furniture, everything is wet, the cushions, the clothes, and here I am waiting for help. Ms. Falcon is one of the hundreds of Cubans left homeless by Hurricane Irma. More than 100 houses in Camarioca, a small town on Cuba's coastline, were destroyed. A despondent Mariela Leon sits in front of her flood damaged after the passing of Hurricane Irma, in Isabella de Sagua, Cuba credit Alperman Espinosa the historic but often decrepit buildings couldn't stand up to Hurricane Irma's winds and rainfall, collapsing and killing seven people in one of the highest death tolls from the storm's passage through the Caribbean. Authorities said Monday that three more people were killed by falling objects or drowning, pushing the death toll to 10 in Cuba and at least 24 others in the Caribbean. It was Cuba's worst hurricane death toll since 16 died in Hurricane Dennis in 2005. For residents in Camarioca, their evacuation before the storm hit undoubtedly saved lives. Librarian Lisette Canal sits at the entrance of her home with her dog next to Cuban flags hung up to dry after Hurricane Irma caused flooding and a blackout. In Havana Credit Reuters Aliexandre Menagini Most of Cuba's grand old buildings were confiscated from the wealthy and distributed to the poor and middle classes after a 1959 revolution that promised housing, health care and education as universal rights. But with state salaries of about $25 a month and government agencies strapped for cash, most buildings have seen little maintenance in decades. A man looks out to sea as he sits on the remains of a restaurant destroyed by Hurricane Irma Credit AP Ramon Espinosa Tropical rain and sea spray have chewed into unpainted facades and seeped through unpatched roofs. Trees have sprouted from balconies. Iron rebar has rusted, sloughing off chunks of powdery concrete. Residents picked through the debris hoping to retrieve personal items and anything salvageable or of value. Cuban government authorities who visited the town promised those displaced by the storm would receive new homes, but for many the loss of personal possessions will make recovery a long and difficult process.